I'm gonna try to remove the intake manifold overboost valve, which is right there. And I believe that's what's losing my boost pressure. If it's not that, then it's definitely the wastegate, but I don't see any black smoke around the wastegate. And it looks much darker around the overboost valve. So I'm suspecting that's probably the problem. So I'm not sure this crescent wrench and hammer are going to be able to get it off. And hopefully I can break that loose and then seal it up. Okay, so before any comments are too harsh, keep in mind I'm in the Philippines and uh, finding tools in the province is not super easy. So what I've got now, this is, I've pretty much given up on the sledgehammer on the wrench idea. And I'm moving over to the jack and wood spacer idea. I'm gonna put the floor jack between the wood spacers and the top of the wrench handle. Hopefully that will give me enough leverage. I do have a boost controller, so there's no worry about overpressurizing the system. Okay, so I'd say my confidence level at this point is about maybe 85%. Could get up closer to 90. We'll see what happens in the next few turns of that jack. Looks like it's putting the correct angle of pressure on the end of the wrench handle. And it's pretty stable right there so far. And crap. That didn't turn at all, but it's off. So I don't think that's gonna be very good news. Blessing in disguise. Finding a plug for that, for that hole here in Angat Bulacan would probably be pretty difficult. So the fact that it broke off means that it leaves a hole about the size of an 11 millimeter socket. So I've got two slightly different exterior dimensions here. I'm gonna see how they fit. The tightest one, I'm going to steal epoxy into the hole. And uh, that may actually be a better fix anyway. So, or easier, faster, I don't know. So we'll see. 